Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're gonna to be talking about ion electron configuration. If you haven't watched the first video on regular electron configuration, go watch that one first. This one is just over ions. So brief review. Remember we have two different kinds of ions. We have a cation that's positive. And what that means is that it's going to lose electrons to become positively charged. And then we have an ion which is going to gain electrons to become negatively charged, okay? So what is the electron configuration for Na plus? That plus is really just representing a positive one charge. So it is a cation, which means that we lost one of our electrons, okay? If we look for Na, which is sodium right here, it had um, 11 electrons. I know that because electrons and protons are going to be equal to one another in a neutral atom okay so in a neutral atom it would have 11 however this is an ion and it's positively one charge so it lost one of those 11 and so now it's going to have 10. so i had 11 gave one away and so now it has 10. so when i do my electron configuration I'm not gonna stop here at 11 electrons. Instead, I'm gonna be stopping at 10, which I know is neon, but I don't want you to look at it as what element it is. It, we're not changing the element here. We're just changing the charge, okay? So I need to stop here because this place is representing 10 electrons, not the type of element. So we're gonna start at the beginning just like we would with the S block. So the first period, so one S and two goes over. Two S two, we're gonna go two P and all the way to the end at six. And this is where we're gonna stop. We are not gonna go down to the third row for sodium because we only have 10 electrons. And you can add this up. So six plus two is eight, plus two is 10. We know we have 10 electrons, so we did this one correctly for our our charge of Na positive. Let's go ahead and try another one. What's the electron configuration for Al positive three? Well, that's aluminum. We first have to find it. We see that aluminum is number 13, which means in a neutral atom, it would have 13 electrons. But this one is a cation of positive three, which means it lost three electrons. So 13 and it loses three it's left with 10. So I don't stop here in my electron configuration at 13. I need to stop at 10 to represent 10 electrons. So I am stopping right here at neon, just like I did in my previous one. So I'm gonna have the same answer. I'm gonna go through my electron configuration the exact same way, and my electron configuration will be identical even though they're different elements, they're different ions, but because they have the same amount of electrons going on. So let's try another one. What is the electron configuration for S negative two? Go ahead and find sulfur, it's right here, 16. A negative two charge means that it gained two electrons. So it had 16, it gained two, which means now it has 18. So our stopping point needs to be right here at 18. Remember, it didn't turn into argon. It just has 18 electrons. So that's where we need to stop with our electron configuration. And you can start at the top here and you can see we go 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3, because we're in a third period now. 3s2, go straight over. 3p and we're stopping all the way in at the end at 6. Um, please don't go any further. This is where we're going to stop at this one. All right, what is the electron configuration of Br negative? So we need to find bromine and it is right here number 35, but we are negatively one charged. So it used to have uh, in a neutral atom, 35 electrons. However, this one gained one electron, negatively one charge, so it gained one. So we're going to go ahead and do the placeholder of 36 and we're gonna have our endpoint for electron configuration right here. And you can start at the top and you can see how we did this one. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. And now we're going to the D block, so we need to go one down. So 3d10, and then we're going back into the P, so one up. 4p and all the way to the end at six. If you were to count all these up, you would get the exact number of electrons we need, which is 36 electrons. And that's how you can double check your work. I hope this was helpful to you all. Hit that subscribe button to see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.